I'm Dario, better known as TLO in the gaming scene, and I've been a StarCraft player since I'm 12 years old. And I've been with Team Liquid since March 2010. Well, first of all, Team Liquid Novo gave me a reason to leave. <laughs> you know, um, stability is a big factor for sure, but it's much more than that. That's the baseline. I have a really good relationship for everybody on the team. Um, Victor and I have been friends since the beginning, basically. And it's more than just, you know, working for another company. It's like you're trying to build something together, and I always identified with the values Team Liquid stand for. I played probably 50 to 100 different RTS throughout my life, but StarCraft was always the one that stood out the most. Teal getting us around. Squirtle is dying in the middle of this map. Are we going to see a fight? I can't believe advanced. what I'm seeing. Interestingly, I met Victor when I was very young. I met him in 2002, so I was 12 years old. And I was at Gamescon in Leipzig, my own hometown. And he was giving exhibition matches. I was one of the lucky audience members that I actually got to play him. And he off-raced his brothers, but he played Terran. I was kind of a close match. He was really, really good at the time. Uh, he was, you know, playing WTG and all that internationally renowned. I remember watching replays of his when I was very young. I beat a couple of his teammates that day, and I even got a signed jersey that everybody signed of his team that was PG back then. In 2010, I started playing StarCraft 2. It was still the early beta, not many people were playing, and I queued up Lab and I'm at Nasco. I think I just heard another nuke. It's at the gold expansion. Go to the gold expansion. All oh, the here it comes. Oh, oh my gosh. I think oh, every pros. single pro, boom, boom, is gone. Oh my god, that is disgusting. We became practice partners. He invited me to the um, Team Liquid beta invitational. And I beat him in the quarterfinals of the tournament he invited me to. I made it to the finals, lost to Vibra. And shortly after that, he invited me to Team Liquid. So first of all, I want to say that I'm really happy about the decision I made back then because when Victor asked me to join the team, he couldn't offer me a salary. There wasn't really any money. And I got some offers from other teams and they were paying me, you know, they were offering me like 200 a month for something like this, which was at the time, you know, amazing. But I knew TL was something special. At the beginning, it wasn't like, oh, I became a pro gamer. I signed a contract and, you know, I'm making a living off this. It wasn't like that at all. But um, it was a start. It was like the you know, founding years. It felt very similar to the early days on Battle Edge, just playing with your clan. Except my clan now became Team Liquid. There's definitely a lot of fun experiences we had. Um, I guess what sticks out most was our time together in Korea. Look, he's gonna drop Bailings on everything. Not enough force fields to stop TLO. Basically, I remember going to the living room telling my parents, you know, in three weeks I'm moving to Korea. It wasn't a question, um, it's just a statement. And we slept in what is basically a laundry closet on the floor. And because there wasn't enough PCs, we went to a PC bank, so a PC cafe in Korea, every day to practice. It was kind of funny, the PC cafe we ended up choosing. We found one that was like completely pink, like very like little girl themed. But it was brilliant because it was clean and nobody was smoking in there. And yeah, that was the beginning. At some point, uh, the OGS manager found a bigger place that we were supposed to move into. Okay, so we had this beautiful place set up together with OGS. It was going to be OGS players, Team Liquid players, um, and maybe even the same day, but like right after we moved into that place, um, the, the, the neighbors had all complained about it to their landlord that they weren't comfortable with a group of young guys just living in this one apartment. Um, and we basically got kicked out. And so, um, yeah, we were scrambling a little bit and, and may have ended up in a, in a love motel. A heart-shaped bed and um, a very interesting experience. What I appreciate from having been there and uh, the situation not really being as perfect as I hoped for um, is that, you know, you can be quite resilient. I think I'll always enjoy playing above all, but teaching is incredibly rewarding um, when it comes to even you know, fellow teammates, but also people on stream. I think um, you can learn a lot from StarCraft that is not just relevant to the game. That's just my favorite thing about StarCraft. You can never be perfect. Every day you learn something new, and every day you're being defeated and need to change something about your, yourself. One thing that I definitely 
appreciate a lot um, from Victor and Team Liquid that they stuck with StarCraft throughout all this time, right? Um, StarCraft didn't have the most success of any esport in the last 10 years. A lot of teams moved on from StarCraft, and, but Team Liquid always stayed with it, and Victor always made it very clear. StarCraft is our legacy, and we will always be part of StarCraft. It's extremely important to him, and, you know, given the loyalty he has shown to us, I think it's only fair to pay that loyalty back. GG! TLO or Foreigner advancing! To me, StarCraft is still the most beautiful esport. After all the games that came out, you know, we are not the biggest, but I think we're the most beautiful. Obviously, as most StarCraft fans know, I didn't have, you know, the huge breakout result um, that every player hopes for. And I know I've been playing StarCraft 2 professional for almost 10 years. So it seems maybe to some people almost a little strange that I'm still competing, but I am competing at a level where I can beat some of the best players. I regularly make it to the quarterfinals and stuff like that. And not everybody is always going to be a champion, right? Like a lot of sports have people that never get a title, but they still have a very successful career. But of course, you know, it bothers me. And I still have that drive that I still want to win a tournament. I don't know if it's going to happen, but uh, I actually feel like this year I have things more figured out than in the past. And I'm also happy being there supporting my teammates. So for me, if anybody in my team does well, to me that's a personal victory too. But yeah, a championship would be nice.